In this session we will learn about control statements used in Scilab. Decision making control statements execute a particular block of code based on some logical condition. If statement is a simple statement in which, if the condition is true then the block of code is executed. The if else statement contains an else block. When the condition is true then the if block is executed otherwise else block is executed. Let's see how we can define and use these statements in Scilab. In the editor we define two variables x and y. If x is less than y, then condition is true and inner code is executed, otherwise it is skipped. Here, when we execute the script, since x is less than y, the message is displayed in the console. Now let us see, the if else statement. Again two variables are used to define the condition, and this time an else statement is used along with the if condition. If x is greater than y, then we get output as x is greater than y, otherwise, else block is executed, and we get output as y is greater than x. The select statement, selects a block of code for execution, that has a case label corresponding to the value of the expression. A select statement is a substitute for multiple if statements, both work in the same way. Let's run the example for select statement. In this example, we set the value of variable A, the select statement selects the corresponding case based on the value of variable A and executes that block of code and ends. For loop is used when we know the exact number of iterations it has to execute. The loop executes till the expression is valid, then terminates. We can also use colon operator, to create a range for the loop to iterate. The interval of the range can be adjusted using steps as shown in the syntax. Now we see how to define for loop. Now let us see how to define for loop. Here we see a simple for loop in which the variable x iterates from 1 to 5 and displays the variable x. We observe that, colon operator is used to create an ordered list of numbers over which the for loop is executed. The for loop iterates over all the elements of the list and then terminates. We can also define nested for loops. Here inner for loop is executed for every value of variable i and updates the variable a. While loop is used when we do not know the number of iterations in advance. The loop body is executed as long as the test condition is true, otherwise terminated. Now we see how to define while loop. We define a variable i, and initialize it to 0. The while loop starts and checks the condition, that i is less than 10, and prints the value of i. The loop continues as long as the value of i is less than 10. When value of i is greater or equal to 10, the condition returns false and the loop terminates. Loops are great to control the flow of the program, but there are special keywords to control the execution of loops. These are break and continue keywords. Break is used to bring the program control out of the loop, and control goes to the next line after the loop. Continue statement is used to bring the program control to the beginning of the loop. It skips the remaining lines of code inside the loop and starts with the next iteration. That brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for your interest and attention.